let me tell you a little bit about Trimble. So Trimble's an interesting one. So this one, uh, they didn't find us through the web or something. It was a, if I remember right, it was a cocktail party introduction. Uh, <laughs> um, a, there was somebody working in WSO2 who knew Prakash at the time. And they had had some, you know, they met at some party and, and, they, and Prakash had mentioned that they were looking at some ESB stuff. Uh, and it was actually for a, a, a Trimble company called Atroad at the time, which was a trucking uh, company. And, uh, and this person had said, well, you know, we have one. You want to check us out? And then, uh, and what's really remarkable about that was, so first of all, it, it, was a, a, it was to deliver messages to the device that was, it was an IoT scenario, really, you know, 10 years ago. Uh, it was to deliver messages to the, the, the device that's in the truck and to, uh, you know, when there's like new delivery instructions or pickup instructions, deliver that to the, to the truck using the software, using the ESP again at the time. And a, 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 what was really, uh, um, and, and it went live, they had a small team that worked on it and went live and, and, you know, and went on to doing various other things. We, Trimble now has a platform called TPAS, uh, Trimble Platform as a Service, which is built uh, using a bunch of WS2 services uh, and so forth. A, a, uh, and uh, but the the thing that I remember from this uh, part was uh, Prakash. I remember I remember talking to Prakash at the time, and and uh, yeah, and his uh, thing was uh, uh, because we were you know we were a tiny company, and again you know Trimble was a big company, and they were looking at this and saying you know what the hell are we doing with these little guys, and he I remember telling that he had been in a startup, or he had been in early stage in a startup, and he knows how difficult it is to get the first customers. Uh, because without having reference first customers, you can't get anywhere. Because everybody else says, who's using your stuff? You know, and there's so much you can make up saying, well, they're using it, they're using it, they're using it. You know, you got to have some people who you can go and talk to saying, this is what they're actually doing with it, right? And being a reference was, was a fundamentally game changer for us. So Prakash and, and Trimble were amazing at that. Again, they've given talks at multiple conferences and gave us a, a huge boost in, in getting off the ground at the time. So I'd like to invite Prakash Iyer, uh, CTO of Trimble, to come and uh, so thank you. Hi there. So I just drove from San Jose to here, um, and I was lying on a dentist's chair about an hour ago. So my one side is all numb, so if I keep saying some things and come out with something different, um, see if you can interpret it. So, uh, but anyway, it's, uh, uh, it's nice that uh, Sanjeeva just reminded me of that story. Uh, there were some uh, missing pieces in that. Um, one of the things we were trying to do at that time, 10 or 15 years ago, 10 years ago, right? Yeah, uh, was um, we were we were literally trying to get all of these messages coming from a backend uh, to a number of these devices out there in the field. And all we were trying to do was prioritize the messages, uh, give it a priority number, and, and, and route it with that priority. Uh, and, um, and we tried it with, uh, with a couple of really reputed messaging uh, uh, system providers at that time. I don't want to take any names. Uh, uh, and we struggled with that, and uh, and the thing that that really uh, impressed me with uh, WSO2 at that time was, uh, and as Sanjeeva said, I always have a soft corner for startup trying to get the first customer. But beyond that, um, when I made that phone call and and made the contact, um, I think it was on a Friday. And the next Monday or Tuesday, I had somebody in, um, in my office who knew exactly how to get an ESP working, because none of us knew that at that time. Uh, nobody in my team. And in about two weeks' time, we had that system up and running. And uh, until then, we were, we were struggling with this, uh, uh, this licensed software we had. We had paid a lot of money for that. And, uh, and, and even, you know, you can, you can probably guess which one this is. And, we were trying to actually get a red book because we were told the red book will have all the secrets. So <laughs> we need to get the red book uh, to kind of really code that, that messaging system. Uh, so from that, in two weeks' time, to get that thing done uh, was our first uh, success story. And subsequently, of course, we have built our TPaaS. Uh, today, uh, Trimble Platform as a Service is the basis for 
all of for cloud software. So, uh, so it's kind of foundation piece. And, and the thing that I talk about all the time uh, about platforms and foundation is that you should never know that it exists. So uh, it should just work, and the application should not even know that it exists. So um, our single sign-on, for example, what we call TID, Trimble ID, uh, is based on the authentication services and, and WSO2. And, and it's, we've had a lot of problem initially, of course, anything that when you start off, you have problem. Uh, but once it is there, it's been running. Now we are adding more and more applications to it, uh, and it's been working just uh, great. So. Uh, congratulations, that's uh, some of the uh, experience that I wanted to share and uh, thank you for having me here.